Hey guys, what's going on? We are here on Historic Mitchell Street and we're gonna go check out Lopez Bakery. We've been here before, absolutely love it. I think you guys will like it too. Let's go check it out. So yeah, we are seated inside. Mike is with me, as you can see. We got a little bit of a table's a little messy, but that's all right. And actually, our friend Travis is right behind us, behind the camera. Hey guys. Um, so uh, yeah, we just got done uh, doing a little golfing um, at the driving range, and so we wanted to come here to Lopez Bakery. Absolutely love this place. Um, they've been kind of going through a little bit of a rough patch, and we wanted to make sure to let everyone know how amazing they are here. Um, and so we came to grab some food. Um, Mike actually introduced me to this place. He comes for like he he comes for like one one item, yeah, basically. Absolutely. Um, th this is my kind of my go-to for tamales. You know, they always have them. I know, like traditionally, uh, I know like Mex like the Mexican families. They they always tell me anyway. At work, you know, like uh, we do tamales on you know, during the holidays, but they always have them here. So this, this is kind of my go-to. Anytime I'm over on this side of town, I'll swing in. Uh, again, you know, he mentioned it, we're at Lopez Bakery. Um, it's on historic Mitchell Street. Uh, I think we're, what are we 11th, at? 11th, 11th, 11th and Mitchell. Mitchell. Yep. Um, I mean, they, it's a family-owned business, 50 years. Started in 1973. I started in 1973. <laughs> so, you know, kind of, the stars have aligned. Yeah, but like Bill said, they've, they've hit a bit of a rough patch with, you know, some family, family stuff and then uh, some equipment stuff. Um, so, yeah, you know, we're here. You know, it's always a, a, a family-friendly atmosphere. Uh, and they, they make you feel welcome. They do a lot for the community. So we figure, since we're part of the community, let's do something for them. Yep. You know, and then let's enjoy some food. And, yeah, absolutely. They've gotten a good outpouring of support from the community and we're just here doing our part. So, um, and our part is eating. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. We do. We're gonna eat, we're gonna review the food. Um, spoiler alert, haven't had anything bad here yet. So, uh, you know, it's gonna be good. And uh, probably take some baked good home, baked, baked goods, baked goods. Baked. I'll get it right. Yeah, yeah, we'll, take, we'll take some baked goods home with us as well uh, to share with our family. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Uh, this is definitely, uh, a labor of love for us and we absolutely love doing these kind of things and letting our friends and family know about the great places to come check out in and around Milwaukee. So, um, anything else? No, man. Let's good? Get, let's get some. Let's get to eating? Get our order in. Alright, let's get to eating. Oh, we might introduce you to Travis. We'll see if he's uh, camera ready. We'll figure it out. Alright guys, stick with us. Alright, so our food just came out. I got a uh, torta with pastor, so it's spicy pork. And of course I had to get some tamales. So I got uh, chicken and pork tamale. Um, show you guys what that looks like here. We have some salsa as well. And I'm just gonna put this right over the tamales. This is a, a green sauce and it's, it's spicy. Now you guys know I like my spice. This is just, it's a, it's a good spice. It's not too, not too hot, but again, for your, for those of you not to spice, it might be a little much, so. All right, uh, we're gonna try a tamale first. Went, go ahead and cut it. Look at, look at the filling in there. Mm. Mm hmm So, a lot of times with tamales, the masa is, it is what it is, it's a vehicle, right? It's what's inside and the flavors are 
completely on point. Um, pretty sure this is chicken. Sometimes I have a hard time identifying my proteins. But uh, this, I believe this is chicken. The salsa on top really helps add in a little bit of that spice, but the meat itself is exactly where it needs to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the other one. Yeah, see, I don't know guys. Maybe that's the chicken or the pork. I can't tell. <laughs> you know what? I'm just, I'm not, I'm not smart with that kind of stuff. Mm. All right. So, I think the pork was the first one. Pork, I think, has a lot more flavor to it. That's why I think it is. It's that. Second one, chicken. Either way, they're absolutely amazing. I can see why Mike comes here and he gets these on a regular basis. All right, so next I'm gonna try the torta. Torta is basically just a sandwich. Now, they normally make their buns in-house. Um, you know, we were talking to the owners and, you know, unfortunately, again, just a run of bad luck. Um, their oven's down. They had to buy the bread somewhere else. Um, but again, I mean, the bread can, can definitely make a sandwich, but it's what's on the inside that counts. So, time to get a big, like healthy like pour bite on here. Mm. Oh yeah. That definitely hits the spot. The meat is very nice and tender. The sandwich, everything on the sandwich just melds well together. So definitely a good job. Mm. That pastor. Let's get rid of the sandwich. Just eat the meat. Oh my God, that's so good. One more bite. Mm. Yeah. Well, like I told you guys before, haven't had a bad thing here yet. That trend is continuing on today. Sandwich is amazing. Tamales are great. Salsa was good. I'm gonna try some baked goods in a little bit, but so far, really enjoying this. All right, so we're gonna switch over to Mike. He's gonna tell you all about his sandwich. Hopefully he gets the pronunciation right, because I didn't. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna go ahead and check this out. All right, guys, let's go take a look. Again, we're at a Lopez Bakery out on 11th and Historic Mitchell. Um, I got the uh, signature, uh, the chicken milanese torta, uh, but I got the signature version that comes with ham on it, jamon. Um, I believe it's called Ante Chiba is the signature chicken milanese. Um, so a chicken milanese sandwich is generally like a pounded out chicken breast, which you can kind of see breaded, uh, deep fried, and then uh, put on, put on, they usually hollow out the bolillo rolls, uh, and then put like a avocado kind of mayonnaise spread, chicken breast, cheese. Uh, again, this one comes with ham, and then they put some tomatoes and, and lettuce on it as well. Uh, so I've already taken a couple of bites, but I, you know, I'll, I'll take one for the camera as well. Mm -hmm. I am squeezing out all the tomatoes and goodness of it, but won't fall in every which way. Mm. I mean, it's, it's perfect. I mean, you can't, I mean, this is, you, you, you want to come for a snack, you know, or a late lunch on a Sunday, Saturday, something like that. Um, I mean, this is, this is, getting, this is going to be your, uh, this is going to, this is going to be what you're going to want. Trust me on that. Um, again, we had some chips and salsa. I got some coffee. Um, but yeah, uh, my go-to tamale spot, like I said, I think pretty much most days they have tamales to go, uh, usually pork, chicken, and then they usually do like a, a veggie, like a bean and cheese. Um, I was told they do not have the bean and cheese. They're out today, but I will be taking a dozen of the, of the pork and the chicken home with me for sure, as I usually do. Um, yeah, I mean, again, 50 years in the, in the, in the business, uh, family owned. I mean, these are the spots we need to get out and, and, and give our money to, not, not some of these other 
these other spots that they can, they'll be fine without our monies. Uh, but yeah, come on out, Lopez Bakery, man. Alrighty, uh, I didn't know the rules, so I've ate most of mine already, but I got a simple cheese quesadilla, creamy cheese, it's melty, it's gooey, it's delicious. The tortilla on it's crisped up nice. Got a little bit of char on it, and then I also got one of each of the tamales. Um, I had the pork one for first. It was solid. Very much recommend it with the green sauce, and I also like the spice. So it is, uh, it's got some heat to it. Um, so I like it. It's really good. Um, so yeah, this is what I got here, and cheers. All right, so we are finishing up here. Food was great, absolutely loved it. Um, speaking with the owner here, so much fun. I mean, they really do a lot for the community here. Again, going through a run of bad luck, but we're here to help them out as much as we can. We got tamales to go, we picked up some pastry. Um, I don't know if you, if I had talked about this, but like their day old pastry that they have here, they actually walk around to different spots uh, in the city here and give it away for free. Um, they don't want to throw it away. It's still good, but you know, most people don't want to buy Dale pastry, so they go and give it away. So, you know, if you guys want to support somewhere local, welcoming, tasty, just do yourselves a favor. Get here to Lopez Bakery, have something nice. You're going to feel like you're at your grandma's house or your aunt's house or someone's house, but you're not going to feel like you're at a restaurant. And they do a great job here with that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this review. We love supporting local as much as we can, and this just goes to show that when we can help support local, we're doing great with our community. So, all right, guys, you have a good one, and we'll talk again soon. Take care.